Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on shebang modules for VCV Rack. This time we're going to be talking about my module Orbitones, which is a physics-based LFO. Um, so what that means is it, it uses forces like attraction and repulsion to, uh, to generate the, um, the low frequency oscillation that, that you can use as an LFO. So it's going to kind of, it's going to create, uh, um, non-cyclic patterns, although it's, it could be very similar, but as you can see right now, these particles floating around this attractor, you, you can visualize what type of oscillations they're going to create. Um, <clears throat> so this, this is an attractor and th these particles are attracted to it. We can all add other ones as well up to four. Um, I'm going to just stick with uh, just the one for now. And right now I have, uh, I have this going into a pitch, uh, so it's controlling frequency. And um, so if we look at the outputs over here, um, we, have, we, can, we can use the X positions and the Y positions for, uh, for oscillation. And um, at the average here, so we got mono outputs. Um, the average will take, obviously, the average of these two particles. It, it doesn't really, if you only have one particle, it's, it's just, you know, it doesn't really make any sense. Um, it'll just be that one particle. Um, all of these mono outputs will only be the, uh, uh, the max or the min or the average of that one particle, which means it's going to be that position. So, so if we take the Y position here, you can see the, the you can see and hear the path that it's taking. And I'm using Y because that's height and that's, you know, we're going to, that's um, a little bit more intuitive to think of in terms of higher pitch and uh, as opposed to uh, X, even though a piano is, is, you know, on is horizontal, but anyway, um, <clears throat> let's see. So you can click and add more pitches. So if we do that. So you can hear that like the average of all of these, since they're so different from each other, it ends up not changing that much. But if we do like the max, we get kind of more cha chaotic uh, patterns or the men. Because anytime one of these particles drops below another one, that becomes the new minimum value. Um, now let's go back to just two particles here. And let's hear. Okay, so it gets kind of interesting if we use the poly outputs. And right now I'm actually just using one, one channel, so. So we're actually only hearing one particle. So if I go into my MIDI controller and select, uh, let's just say like two channels. we're still only going to hear the oscillation from one of these channels because I haven't changed this. So I'm going to change this to two as well. So we can hear both particles. So you can now hear the path of the different particles. Um, Now, if I do um, like the velocity, that's going to be uh, 
it's, it's only taking the velocity, not the uh, the y position in this case. So that's a little less easier to to figure out, but um, visually at least. But you you can um, use it. You know, it might be kind of an interesting way to play with it. But uh, as as you can see, this particle here, when it gets closer to the attractor, the velocity speeds up. So that's going to give you uh, like a, a faster velocity or a higher velocity is going to give you a higher pitch. So that's that's uh, you can hear those. Uh, So you can hear when it like whips around the attractor when that pitch jumps up really quick. Um, so so uh, that's another interesting way to play with it. Now, if I add in all the other attractors here, um, let's talk about some of these other knobs. Um, this is a global gra gravity, so it affects all the attractors. So if I turn it up more, we're going to get a lot more... Um, you know, stronger attraction. Obviously, if I go all the way down to one, it's going to be like the particles just bounce around, like there is no attraction. Um, also, you, we have the option here to turn off particle boundaries. So if I add more and we can actually go outside of the screen here, let's see if I can get them to do that. Move some particles down here. Now, this is. This is interesting because if you have them, if the, you have these attractors down here and uh, you now add the particle boundaries back in and they kind of bounce off of the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or let's try the minimum value here. You can kind of hear the, <laughs> it's, it's almost like randomness. You can also have them bounce off the side if you're more interested in playing with like the X values. Um, let's see what the average. And uh, another interesting thing that I like to do is... Um, Let's see, is to actually put, turn the attractors into repellers, or technically they're still called attractors, but they're just, it's just negative attraction. So each of these individual knobs affects the scaling of the gravity. So right now it's just one um, for all of them. If I turn the purple one up to two, it's twice as much of uh, um, force attraction. So you could see they kind of, gravitate haha, closer to the purple one um, you can also go in the negative so if I make them all negative attractors and leave the boundaries on which is important because if you don't have the boundaries on uh, the particles will fly off into infinity and I, I don't know what's gonna happen maybe it'll crash everything at some point <laughs> so it's probably a good idea to um, keep them there but um, Anyway, so you start getting these like uh, get you the particles kind of get stuck in these like little corners, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's hear the. Uh let's turn this up to. I'm gonna do four. Oh, let's do eight. Uh, eight channels for both here. So you can hear this one on the left is jumping up there. <laughs> and there's the other ones over here in this corner. You can make the attractors move. And you can also change the color if you would rather do like a red blue shift of the trails. So that would be like something you might see in space. 
um, with you know galaxies moving further away or closer to us. Um, let's listen to it as a filter uh, frequency. <laughs> That's kind of fun to play with. Uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so with them moving, you can hear the particles uh, gradually change their patterns or their, their path because of where the force uh, is, is forcing them to, to move. Um, you can also connect a, a controller for the gravity if you want to change the gravity. So by turning the gra global gravity up here, as they're all in negative attraction, it makes that negative attraction stronger. So you can see they're trying to get away even more. If I turn it down, it's you know they're a little little more relaxed here. Uh, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, Outputs, let's see, um, should be self-explanatory. Poly outputs, X and Y positions. These are negative X and Y positions. So say you want to hear the particles down here at the bottom to actually be higher pitch, then you would want to use that. Um, and then velocity, X and Y, which I explained. Um, mono outputs are going to make more sense with multiple particles and you can have up to 16 particles okay thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>